How to get the best car price for either new or used cars. We start today by talking about how you can avoid negotiating your next car deal. And yes, if you're not a skilled negotiator, you should avoid it. Sounds kind of counterintuitive, right? But that's what we're going to do for you today. Next, we move on to six key steps that you need to get right or you lose. At this point, we are assuming you've already done your research and narrowed your choice of vehicle down to one or two specific models and are ready to make the purchase other than doing a little groundwork first. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, and right across the way is the amazing Elizabeth. Thanks, Kevin. The process for outlining here works best if you give yourself at least a week to 10 days to go through all these steps. This is to ensure there's sufficient time for thorough price comparisons. And stick with us to the end for a free giveaway. If at any point in this process it seems like too much work for you to do, you know you can hire the most talented car buying service team to do it all for you. Hassle free. It's the best deal available on the market with the biggest payback, paying you back in savings on average 4.3 times. Every step we're talking about today, our man Stuart does every one of them for you. He will even contact as many as 30 dealers to get the deal right for you. For more information, see our hassle-free car buying service available on the website, thehomeworkguy.com. The payback is so good, let me ask you a quick question. If your banker told you to deposit $1,000 in your savings account on Monday, and you check back on Thursday and your balance was 4300 bucks, how many times would you want to do that? Now, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Okay, moving on. By now, you should have already done your test drives and you know the exact trim, colors, and options you want. If you're not at this stage yet with either a new or used car, don't worry. You'll still get plenty of useful information from watching this video to help you nail it down. The further ahead you have the information you need, the more time you'll have to prepare and comparison shop every portion of your car deal. Unfortunately, most car shoppers have tunnel vision when it comes to getting a great deal. Indeed. They focus on getting a great price while ignoring other areas such as their financing costs, trade-in, or the cost of car insurance. One of our main objectives is to get you to see that buying a car is way more than just negotiating a price. Some of you will be surprised when I say, for many people, getting past the negotiating part is actually an easy task. And we're going to show you exactly how to make it easy for you. And by following our OTD process and doing the necessary homework, you can easily get the best price. Right now, we're going to teach you how to get the lowest possible price for any new or used vehicle of your choice. Now, for those of you who really don't like to negotiate, here's a major secret for negotiating the lowest possible price. The secret can be summed up in just two words. Don't negotiate. Yep. Sounds counterintuitive, doesn't it? Yep. But it's actually very simple. Let dealers do the work for you. The golden rule you need to follow is to get OTD prices from at least seven to eight different dealers. You just need to do enough work. Now, I didn't say try to get seven or eight quotes. I said actually get them. Since half don't respond, you'll have to contact at least 15 to maybe 20 different dealers to get this info. Sound too tough to do? Well, that's exactly what our man Stuart does. If you don't get the price you need with this many attempts, look even further. As many of you are aware, we do offer hassle-free car buying service, and despite his skill, Stuart will sometimes contact as many as 30 dealers for some of these great car deals he gets. Some of you guys would never go that far. Notice how I didn't say start negotiating prices at this point. I said collect prices. That's all. Most dealers will offer you deeply discounted prices with zero negotiation as long as these two things are clearly communicated. Number one, they must know you're getting prices from their competition. And number two, you only contact them online or via phone. Never collect pricing info in person, friends. That technique died when the pandemic hit. You should never leave discussions about pricing to a later time when you're physically at the dealership. That's way too late in the process. Way too late. Yeah. The bottom line is the more dealers you collect prices from while at home, the better your chances of landing an incredible deal. It only takes a little time and effort on your part to do this. When I've done direct price negotiations on behalf of car buyers, especially in recent years, I've often received similar prices from the first three to five dealers I contacted. And it wasn't until the sixth or seventh response I got that I would receive a bid undercutting the competition, and often by a large margin, sometimes as much as $1,500. But I did tell each new dealer, I already have prices from five other dealers, but nobody has earned my business yet. That incentivizes them to dig a little deeper. Bingo. We mm -hmm. say it all the time. Use the word earn when you talk about doing business with dealers. Say, I've received pricing from five other dealers, but I'm looking for a dealer who wants to earn my business. 
That word works like magic. Dick. The lesson here is don't be discouraged if you get similar pricing from the first few dealers you contact. Most car shoppers will usually stop after contacting only three or four dealers, and that's definitely not going to cut it here. Not going to cut it. Getting price quotes from at least seven or eight dealers is what I found to be the magic number. And as I said earlier, in order to actually collect seven to eight different prices, you're going to have to contact way more than seven to eight dealers. It will be more like 15 to 20. Count on only half of them getting back to you. And it's most likely because they're not price competitive or don't have the car. Don't let that discourage you because they are definitely a dealer who wouldn't have given you the deal that you're looking for. I need to add something here. If one of the dealers gives you a price quote that seems just way too good to be true, and we're talking about thousands of dollars lower than any other dealer. This could be potentially a dealer trying to scam you with a demo car. This usually happens with leftover models. If you suspect this is happening, ask the dealer for the mileage on the vehicle. If it's more than a few hundred miles, it's very likely to be a demo car. Another common situation is where the dealer is quoting you a price based on rebates you don't actually qualify oh, for. Yeah. Some dealers include what is known as qualified rebates into the price, such as rebates reserved for military or college grads, and often these can't be used at the same time. The dealer knows it's shady to do this, but a lot of people see the low price and get enticed and fooled. Make sure to ask if the price includes any qualified rebates. For any doubters out there, let's talk about why this non-negotiation technique actually works. Car dealers don't want you to realize cars are just commodities. Right. A brand new Toyota Camry being sold in New York is essentially the same as a new Camry sold in California. If you're in any market where seven merchants are selling the exact same product, it would be foolish to buy from the first one you come across without knowing exactly what the others will sell it for. It's the exact same situation with vehicles. Why would you get pricing from just one or two dealers when the exact same product is being sold at dozens of other locations at varying prices? Catching the right dealer at the right time is also key to your success. Yes. Car dealers will sell you a vehicle even below cost if you catch them at the right time. It may be because they're trying to meet a monthly sales quota and only need one or two more sales, or perhaps the car has been sitting on their lot for too long and it needs to go. If you happen to contact a dealer during one of these times, you're going to land a great deal without much effort, guaranteed. By casting your net far and wide, your chances of finding one of these buying opportunities increases dramatically. By the way, Stuart has access to all of this kind of information, which is one of the reasons he knows the best time to exploit a dealer's vulnerability. As promised, here are six exact steps to follow. Step number one, gather automated price bids first. Everyone is looking for a quick and easy way to get a good deal. Unfortunately, it does take work and effort to guarantee the best price, but this first step is so simple and it will take you 80% of the way towards the lowest price on a new car. There are many services that let you get free price quotes, but most are not worth your time, friends. Included in this video are our top recommendations for automated price quotes. Unfortunately, many car shoppers will stop after this first step because the rest of the steps require manual work and can take a few hours to complete. This is fine if you want a fair deal and are not willing to spend a ton of time to get it. However, if you want the guaranteed lowest price on a new car, you will need to complete all the steps we're going to outline. Start with TrueCar. TrueCar is one of the few car price quote services we do recommend using. We have covered them before, but a lot has changed since then. TrueCar does provide good upfront prices most of the time, so much so that dealers started a backlash against the service pressuring their state legislatures to outlaw it. They were afraid that TrueCar was going to take away all the profit out of their cars. Anything that gets dealers this upset is definitely a good sign for <laughs> <Good> car <point>. <laughs> shoppers. To see the true car price, which is free, you'll need to select a vehicle you want and then click on the button that says, See Actual Pricing. You then fill out your information to see which dealers are offering discounted prices through true car. Next up is Cars Direct which is also another reputable free service that's been around for decades and has a large network of dealers ready to provide price quotes. We will link both of these sites in the description box below. So those are the automated pricing steps. Yeah. This next step is the undoing of many of you. It's the manual time-consuming work that you must do. So step two, the next step is to manually locate all nearby dealerships. While the online price quotes can save you time and money, it's not guaranteed that all dealers in your local area are participating with those folks. You want to make sure you have at least seven price offers from different dealers, right? These will include some manually collected prices, which you're going to do now. This means you'll need to locate and to contact additional dealers near you. And in a moment, we'll show you exactly how to do it. 
and what to say. Depending upon where you live, you may only have one or two dealers within an hour's drive, so you're going to have to increase the distance until you get to a list of at least 15 dealers that you can contact. Yes, some of these dealerships may be hundreds of miles away, but if you still want to get prices for the purpose of leverage against your local dealers, you're going to have to do this. You can find each dealer's contact info by doing a Google search starting with the brand of car plus a dealer name like this example, Toyota Dealer Near Me. You can also visit manufacturer sites and look for links that say, Find a Dealer or Locate Dealership. They're easy to find that way. Step number three, here's where the rubber hits the road. You'll need to get price bids from remaining dealers. Up until now, we've given you the low-hanging fruit. It's quite possible the best deal may end up being through an automated service like TrueCar, but if you want to be positive that you're maximizing your savings, you need to do some more work. It's true that TrueCar has thousands of participating dealers, but not every single one is currently using their service. So, you're going to have to contact the remaining ones the old-fashioned way. You should have printed a list of all relevant dealers near your location. Now's the time to start checking the true car dealers off of that list. See which ones responded and make note of their price bids. As for the rest, you're going to have to manually contact them until you have a total of at least seven or eight different prices. Start with the dealerships closest to you and work your way out. We recommend calling all dealerships within 200 miles of you. If the list is extremely long, then call only the dealers that have a large inventory of vehicles. All you need to do is call and ask for the internet sales manager. These salespeople typically offer the best deals. If the dealership doesn't have an internet manager, ask for the fleet manager instead. Both of them are far kinder to customers and friendlier to deal with than any salesman working the floor. The goal of each call is to get the internet manager to email you their best price on the model you want. You want to get the process going via email because there's going to be some back and forth and you don't want to be playing phone tag. The call should be quick and easy and don't try to get pricing over the phone. You'll just end up playing a lot of phone tag. Here's how an ideal conversation will go. Hello, I'd like to speak to the internet sales manager. Hold please. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I'm interested in a 2017 Chevy Suburban LT. I'm looking to purchase this month, and I'd like to get your best price on this vehicle. At this point, they will want to get the details of the car, options you want, colors, etc., to see if they have it in stock, and they will want your email and phone so they can get back to you. This is fine. Give them your contact info, and after you give the details on the car and the contact information, you finish by saying, I'd like you to quote me your best out-the-door price, including taxes and all fees. My zip code is 58801, so you can calculate the taxes. Of course, use your own zip code. I'm going to be busy for the rest of the day, and I prefer that you email or text me the quote. Also, let me grab your email in case I don't hear back from you. So the goal is to open communication with someone at the dealer, give them the vehicle you're interested in, and ask them to give you an out-the-door price via email or text. That's all there is to it. Most will abide with this without any fuss. Every so often, you'll get one that will try to ask you unrelated questions or get you to come to the dealership. Just tell them you're short on time and you just want everything done through email or text to start. Make sure you jot down the following for each dealership you contact. The dealership name, the name of the internet manager, the phone number, and email address. It's Or if you talk to a fleet manager, the name of the fleet manager. Yes. It's best if you keep track of everything on a spreadsheet or even use index cards if you remember what those are. <laughs> keep one for each dealership. Otherwise, it can get very confusing really quickly with all the different prices, vehicle options, colors, and other details to keep track of, plus all the back and forth on pricing. When calling the majority of the dealerships, there's no need for you to be anxious or nervous. From our experience, most internet managers will not try to use high-pressure sales tactics on you. For the most part, they're professional and realize you're an informed consumer. Pro tip right here, the best time to make these calls is near the end of the month when dealers are trying to meet their sales quotas. Don't wait till the very last minute of the day. You need to give the process a few days to finalize. The best days are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays when dealerships are a bit less busy. Step number four, it's time now to follow up with dealers. For the dealership that you had to manually contact, you should start receiving responses the same day, at least from dealers who have a good follow-up process in place. But like all of us, internet sales managers are human and do make some mistakes or just get a little lazy. Oh, sure. Some forget to send you a price. In fact, about half the time, you may not receive a bid at all. You should follow up with the ones who didn't send you a bid. It doesn't mean they won't give you a good deal. A likely reason is that they simply forgot or maybe thought you weren't a serious buyer. 
In addition to not receiving bids from some dealers, you will often receive bids with missing or incomplete information. Sometimes the internet manager will just send an out-the-door price without any other information. No details. <clears throat> right. Sometimes they will only quote you a price without MSRP or other details laid out. You need to standardize their bids so you can compare them fairly. Follow up and let them know you need more clarification of details on their bid. They will usually respond accordingly. It just takes a bit of prodding sometimes. Step number five, don't forget to give dealers a chance to beat the lowest bid. Yes. If you receive at least seven price bids, including the automated ones you got through CarsDirect or TrueCar.com, compare and determine which dealer offered the best deal. First, see who offered the lowest price in relation to the invoice. Then look at the additional fee, such as dock fee, that you might be required to pay for that dealer. Add it all up and figure out who offered the lowest price after taking into account all additional fees. Keep in mind that some dealerships will charge a different amount for dock fees or other fees. It depends on the state that you're shopping in. You need to take this into account when determining who offered the best price. After determining the lowest overall price, you need to contact each internet manager and offer them a chance to beat it. Start with the worst bid and work your way down. Each phone call or email will have to be customized to that specific dealer to take into account the different fees that you may have encountered. Here's a juicy tip you can offer each dealer as an incentive to lower their bid. The incentive is that you are going to promise them to give them a 100% rating on a customer satisfaction survey that you'll receive from the manufacturer after purchasing. The survey sent to each car buyer by the manufacturer is what this is. It's their way of keeping tabs on dealerships and determining which dealerships are treating their customers right. Customer satisfaction surveys are very important to dealers and can result in large bonuses for each car they sell. Well, as long as those ratings are good. Another motivational incentive you can offer is the promise to service your car at the dealership after the sale. Car dealers make a large bulk of their profits on parts and services, so this is a big incentive. To keep things fair, only promise this if you really do intend to service your car at the dealership. Obviously, no dealer will believe you if you live 100 miles away. Right. It's best to call each internet manager starting with the highest bid and see if they will beat the lowest price. This way, if one does offer a lower bid, the next call you make will include this lower bid and so on. If you really don't like calling, an email will still be ineffective. It will just take a little bit longer. Next, number six, you'll finalize the deal in writing and make arrangements to pick up your car. By now, you should have your lowest price. So call and email the dealership and get everything in writing before you actually go to the dealer. Never get sucked into going there before it's all in writing. Do not go to the dealership without having it printed out and holding it in your hand. That's right, Kevin. Sometimes you'll get a dealer who places a low bid just to trick you to come into their dealership. When you get there, they'll come up with some story about how the car you wanted is no longer available. They'll try to sell you another car at a higher profit, banking on the fact that since you're already at the dealership, and it would be too much hassle for you to walk out and go home. They love it having yeah. you on their turf. What you're going to request from the lowest bidder is a signed purchase order detailing everything. This should include the VIN or vehicle identification number, the MSRP, invoice price, all additional fees including tax, title, registration, and dock fee, plus the final OTD price. Go to the dealership with a printout of the deal, sign the paperwork, pay, and go on your way home with a new car knowing that you got a great deal. If the dealer is less than 50 miles away, you can even request the dealer to deliver the vehicle to you. This makes the process even more convenient, and better yet, you don't have to deal with that finance manager. <laughs> if for some reason the dealer comes up with an excuse why they can't sell you the car, even with written proof, explain that you're not there to play games. If they are not willing to give you the deal that they promised, be willing to walk away and let them know. You will be posting negative reviews about your experience online, and you'll be filing a complaint with the state attorney general's office. If this doesn't jolt them into completing the deal, still simply walk away and choose the next lowest bidder on your list. That's it. You now have the knowledge to get the lowest price on any car. Our giveaway is coming up next. Good luck, friends. The first five people to text me at 701-441-3399 and say you just watched our new video titled How to Get the Best Car Price for Either New or Used Cars, you'll get referred to Kevin for a free 15-minute phone call. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off on behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and the Homework Guy team. Till next time, God bless you all. Thanks for listening. <laughs>